We're back here at the TEP Showcase. I'm now pleased to be joined by Spencer Hyman, assistant coach and assistant GM of the new Mark and Royal. Spencer, welcome. Thanks, for now. I understand this is your first time here at the TEP Showcase? Yeah, it is, it is, and I'm uh, really impressed so far. It's a very well-run tournament, and uh, you know we couldn't be happier right now. What do you think it does for the players who come to this tournament? And some guys, you know, the teams are thrown together. Sometimes they're part of a group. Sometimes they're even just trying out for, their own, for the team they're, they're practicing with. Yeah. So what do you think it does for these players? You know, I, I think that it's a, it's a great tournament and, uh, and a great time to have it, you know, because not much is going around right now. Uh, you know, for guys playing junior, you know, trying to make junior teams, you know, first of all, trying to make junior teams, it gives us a lot of exposure to watch guys around the league and, uh, you know, see where guys are at right now and, uh, you know, who's training and who's not training type of thing. Uh, you know, if they're getting ready for the upcoming season. And, you know, for junior guys, it just gives them another opportunity to play some more summer hockey, get a better feel, uh, you know, maybe gain a little bit of chemistry with a few players and, you know, just, just have fun and play hockey in June. I mean, it's, it's uh, like I said, not much going on. So it, it's kind of the perfect time, just, you know, a month away from training camp, uh, see where everyone's at. Now, a lot of these guys know that, you know, teams are looking at them, scouts might be looking at them from schools or whatnot. How do you keep guys focused on just playing the game of hockey? You just got to remind them you're here to have fun and you're here to play hockey and, and, and that's why everybody's here. You know, you're not, uh, if you're thinking too much about everything else, you're just not going to be you and, and, and you know, you got to stick, you know, like we tell the players, just stick to, to what you do best and, and just go out and enjoy. Now I've seen you and your head coach, Mike Galati, walk around to some other pads. What are you guys looking for for the Markham Royals? Uh, you know, we're not so much right now, just just looking at, uh, you know, the other teams of tournament, just, you know, want to see... You know a few players but uh you know we have a few guys in our team that that will be playing uh with markham this year and uh you know there's a lot of talent around the other teams as well so you know uh just checking out you know some potential players maybe pick up or you know invite to main camp and and uh go from there is there any like trade talk that happens here like the gms kind of get together maybe and just discuss some things they've talked about before or is everything kind of selling is the dust settling right now i mean everyone's always talking and, and you know discussing players and, and stuff like that so um you know maybe you want to touch on that with with coach galati but uh but you know every, everyone's always talking and and you know everyone's friends right so it's uh it's good now you yourself you guys are ending your first season in markham um, there's been a lot of excitement around with the community. How are you sensing, you know, this is this season's going to turn out? I mean, I think it's going to be a good year. Uh, we're very excited to be heading into Markham for the, you know, first time. And, and you know, we're leaving a story tradition behind in Hamilton. But, you know, we're entering uh, a city that has an extremely uh, um, uh, a great history and uh, extremely proud history. And, uh, you know, we're looking to contribute to that and add to that. And, you know, we want to put together a great team on the ice that works hard, but but uh, represents the city of Markham in the right way. Does that excitement going to another city, like from Markham to Hamilton, no disrespect to Hamilton, but does it kind of change the attitude, the way players look towards, you know, wanting to go play for a team? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, so far in Markham, we've had, uh, you know, an outpour of, of kids wanting to, to play for us. It was, you know, pretty clear in our rookie camp by the numbers that we had there about how many, you know, uh, GTHL and and uh, OMHA and and uh, players in the in the GTA wanted to play for uh, Markham. I mean, uh, it's just such a storied history, like I said, and, and uh, you know, beautiful jersey and and I mean, a, another reason is obviously Coach uh, Galati and and he has a, a great relationship with a lot of players within the GTA area. So uh, coming to Markham has been nothing but amazing so far, and we're hoping to translate that on the ice in September. How was the family dinner the other night after Zach signed his contract with the Maple Leafs? <laughs> that was pretty good. It, it, it was uh, it was very exciting. Uh, you know, I'm very proud of my brother, and and you know, but you know, it's a trade, and and uh, it happens. But the the hard work starts now, obviously, and you know, we're we're here to support him every way we can. Does someone have dibs on the first car he buys? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't really thought about that, but. Uh, you know, he, he, he's just going to, I know my brother and he's going to work hard and he, he's very, uh, very humbled uh, to be part of the Toronto Maple Leafs organization. If you have one word or one statement for the fans of the Markham Royals, what can they expect from this season? You can expect hard work, compete, and you're going to get a very good, well-coached team that's, that's going to battle and work hard every single night. All right, Spencer. Well, thank you very much for joining us. That was Spencer Hyman of the Markham Royals. Joins us here at the TEP Showcase. We will continue with more interviews.